We're on the air. We're on the air. <coughs> Author Interview Radio brings you the hottest authors publishing on the planet today. Listen in on these private conversations. Now, here's your host. You are on the air. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Patzer, and I'm really excited to introduce today's guest. Victoria Vivas Kwong. She is a champion of truth and consciousness. Her diverse and colorful history gives her a unique perspective and keen ability to connect with people from all walks of life and also pierce the confounding veils of ambiguity and misdirection that are so frequently employed by the powers that be. Raised in the ghettos of Spain as a multi-ethnic child by a single mother, Victoria grew from her experiences with poverty, racism, sexual abuse, congenital problems, and social stigma, only to achieve high levels of health as well as success in the entertainment industry. In the midst of a series of severe life trials culminating in a near-death experience, a spontaneous kundalini awakening and involvement with occult societies while exploring metaphysics, healing, and martial arts. She left her old life in Spain to forge a new one in the United States. With minimal English speaking skills, no money, and no support from her family, Victoria hustled her way off the streets of Hollywood with brute determination. Through a series of profound learning experiences, she discovered her true calling as a herald of truth. And here's the really cool thing about Victoria. She has a new book that is in the process of being published called In a Matter of Seconds, a story to empower yourself into love, success, and manifestation manifestation. And that's what we're talking about today. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Victoria, and tell me more about the book that you've written. Thank you so much, Tamara, for having me in this interview. I'm so excited to be able to share with your audience, with my friends on Facebook, and on YouTube. So yeah, I'm very, very happy to finally put together the book. It will be complete by the end of the year. So um, it's a story about my life, how coming from a very difficult situation, challenging situation that many of you might relate because we all have troubles through life, right? But we cannot let that put us down. So we always have to keep that amazing laser focus vision so that we can continue in our path and any blockages, anything that comes through, we want to make sure to go over it so we learn from it and we are able to go to the next level and the next level and one step at a time we can really get anywhere we want so that's what the book is about it's called as you see in a matter of seconds because sometimes we might be putting a lot of effort in something and dedicating years and years and years but there is something that is still might not be clicking in so we want to just make sure that we find that key that allows us to go to the next level. And that's what I'm talking about in the book. So you just said a couple clear things to me. It's funny because my mind, I'm saying clarity, because I really think 2020 is all about everything we've gone through. It seems like is leading to this point of clarity. So what would you say if there was one thing that you talk about in the book that could make your life change in literally a matter of seconds. Yes, embracing yourself. So through my childhood, you know, I was um, the only black person that I met until I was 14. So I was very just, very, uh, like I had a lot of racism. It was a very conservative country. So that I could have done out of it something that doesn't allow me to move forward. But I turned it around and I was able to embrace it so that suddenly that became an advantage for me because now I'm the only one that is like this. So anybody, each of you can always do this, can always see, okay, this is what I have. It might feel like a curse sometimes, 
But if we turn it around and we place the good energy in it, we are able to finally see the other aspect that is the blessing. The most uh, terif- uh, uh, terrible things that, I, that have happened in my life, when I was able to just breathe through them and just say, okay, there has to be something, something that is positive about this. It cannot be just a bad thing without anything else. Everything in this universe has its counterpart. So cold and heat or uh, summer and winter or high and low, everything. So in our lives, the same. We might have something that from an outside perspective may be judged as good or bad, but that's a very limited perspective, right? So we can always, within ourselves, go higher in perspective and say, okay, this has these challenges, but what are the advantages? What are the good things that I can bring from this situation or this characteristic that I have? A very simple one would be somebody that is very bossy and everybody is like, oh, you're so bossy. Like, you know, I cannot stand you because of this. But then they might be amazing at directing, at being a CEO or directing films because they know they have the vision and they are able to convey it. So as as long as they are able to soften and polish that quality, then it becomes refined. It's almost like the diamond, right? When we find a diamond, it's not necessarily shiny and beautiful, but things to go through that process of refining and polishing that diamond, it becomes a jewel. So with us, the same. Every single thing that we have is amazing, but sometimes we put it in the shadow and we don't want to look at it because somebody said it was bad. Once we bring it out of the shadow, we start embracing it, transforming it, then we can receive the blessing that is containing. <laughs> so everything that you're talking about is, is like what you said. You said, look inside yourself and try to see the other side. If, if something bad is happening or has happened to you, see the positive side. It's kind of the same as, you know, for every door that closes, another door or a window opens and something. Absolutely. <laughs> the best thing, you know, like if people walk away or out of your life. So if you were to give somebody some baby steps to take, what would you tell them? Like give them maybe a couple steps and where would you start in this process of uncovering who you truly are? Mm, I love that for sure. That's my passion, seeing in people what they're capable of and helping them and inspiring them so that they can truly accomplish it because this is there, is there. We just need to be persistent. So that's one of the aspects. So first we embrace ourselves and love ourselves because the more we love ourselves, it's not a selfish thing. In fact, it's something that allows us to love others better. If we are not happy about ourselves, we're going to mistreat others. So we want to start there, loving ourselves, embracing ourselves, nurturing ourselves. So that would be the first step. Then we want to make sure that we have a clear vision. What is that you want to accomplish? You want to embrace your gifts and share them with the world. What do you want to do? So be very clear about it. And sometimes sharing this with others might not be the best because um, often they cannot see exactly what we see, right? Like they in their own, in their own movie and they might not see ours. So for example, to put an example in my life, I was in a neighborhood that was low income, so it was kind of the ghetto. And, and you know, I had a big vision, like, okay, let's let's create a band and um, you know become famous doing television. And people were like, okay, Victoria, you know, relax a little bit. That's not possible. That's not for us. That's for others, you know. So if we have that people around, we have to just um, most likely keep it to ourselves. And only when we have accomplished it then they will see it, but we don't want to um, to bring people into our vision unless they're going to support it. It's all about the energy. So we have our vision and we want to only surround it by people that can support it and can see us accomplishing that. So that would be my second uh, advice. And then third advice would be persistence. Life is going to come and, you know, it happens. We have this plan and things just went south. But we can 
persist. We learn from what happened, we readjust, and we continue our journey. So we don't give up. Never give up. Okay, if this is what you really want, just never give up. We are persistent. So once again, those three steps, like really easy, first embracing ourselves, then making sure that we only share our vision with people that support it and, and having a clear vision. And then third, being persistent so that we make sure that, you know, the universe gets the memo that we are interested and we are serious about this because sometimes it's like, are you serious? Let's see. If this happened, would you continue doing it? And sometimes the answer is no, we give up. So then why the universe would give us this? Um, there is an analogy. There's uh, this analogy of a kid taking a one scoop ice cream. Okay, so he has the cone with one scoop ice cream. And he's like, dad, dad, give me another <laughs> a scoop. I need a two scoop ice cream. And then the kid drops w- uh, the one scoop of ice cream, right? So it's like, how am I going to give you two if you get the whole one? <laughs> so the same for us. We have to grow. And when we uh, decide that we want to get something big, we want to create something amazing, we're going to have to go to different levels. Okay, are you capable of this? Are you capable of that? Can you go to the next level? Can you raise yourself up when you are down? So all of this is going to be part of the process of becoming the kind of person that can accomplish that goal that you want. Wow, you really put a lot of information into that answer. I want to go back to a couple of things related to the energy and about sharing your vision and your dreams with people, how often, and I think you've mentioned it, that, you know, your, think about your name, Victoria. What does that mean? You know, Victoria. <laughs> you would have big visions and big dreams. But do you find that normally the people who love you the most, like your mother or your father or relatives, often are the people who will hold you back and tell you that your dreams are not possible? Yes. I have a kind of interesting childhood, which I shared in my book. Uh, So I don't have maybe the most common uh, family, (laughs) but uh, certainly I can, I can see that, that they want us to be safe. Many times they want us to be safe. So it's not that they don't care. And also sometimes I feel they're afraid because if we become super successful and then they, they, you know, like not at the same level, we cannot have certain conversations because they don't understand us. And this happens all the time. Like in my family, for example, if I want to talk about, you know, I, I build my healing school here in Los Angeles and it's very successful. So I can speak with my uncle, for example, about business. But the rest of my family, they're like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, they don't understand the idea of having a vision and creating something that is going to, to bring a blessing to others and how that can be happening. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I totally agree. Well, I think that you're right, because often people, if they don't have the capability of seeing something bigger than where they're at right now, they would just rather not discuss it. And also people are afraid of change because a lot. you have, if you're going to create something, you have to be willing to take the good and the bad, like you said, um, as you grow, how important is the spiritual aspect of this process of becoming as you described it? So the spiritual aspect, I feel, is something very personal that for many people, um, for each person, I would say, means something completely different. We have our internal idea of what is this spiritual aspect in our lives. So for some people might be a certain religion, for some people might be the connection with the universe, for some people might be connection with nature, for some people might be self-discovery. So I feel it's very important any of those ways, if they help us understanding better ourselves, understanding better life, understanding better relationships, which are essential to anything in our lives also. 
So exploring that deeper aspect that is not just intellectual, but it goes deeper into something transcendental. So looking at ourselves in a more eternal way, if you will. <laughs> of course, not everybody thinks in, in reincarnation and all of this, but just uh, even if it is just the gift that we bring to this world, when we come to this world, how we contribute to it. Did we bring something to make it a little better, to inspire somebody else, or are we making it worse? So I feel that that idea of um, thinking of the interconnectedness between all of us uh, in understanding our true purpose could be part of that spiritual aspect and is essential for sure. Well, this is a really interesting conversation. And you also have something really unique going on with your book. And I wanted to give you the opportunity to talk about it because your book is coming out in two, in 2020. Like, let's, I think you mentioned it was coming out in January, but it's available as a pre-order right now. And it's pretty cool because if people actually pre-order your book, they actually get to be part of your big vision. Yeah. So tell me more about that. I'm, I just am really excited about, <laughs> about the opportunity that you're giving people if they pre-order your book. So, so tell us about that and, and start with the fact that if you get this book now, you're actually going to be getting a credit mm -hmm. in the book at, for being part of the, the vision. And that is a, and I, and I'm looking at this from a marketing perspective for those of the listeners on, you know, coming from the podcast and from your viewers and listeners, this is really cool stuff. If you're somebody who is an author or, or anyone interested in, in uh, promoting themselves and so tell me more about all of this. This is a really cool opportunity. And I, and I just want to say, wow, Victoria, how cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I love that you are bringing this aspect because I love to connect with my global family. So what I decided is on my social media, I would start doing daily updates. So sometimes I ask people, okay, what do you need to know about? What would you like to resolve in your life? What would you know? Uh, would you like for me to include into the book? So all of this started bringing some aspects into the book that are not necessarily just within me, right? So they started becoming a co-creation with the other people that is in my community online. And then also for those who are purchasing now before the the launch, they're going to receive the um, the bonuses which are in the VIP area of the website. But also, of course, I will put their names into the book because they are helping this co-creation to make it happen. So they will be there forever. <laughs> Oops, I cannot hear you. <laughs> I really like that because, again, you are talking about the energy, which is what you're all about. You're all about co-creation, about energy, about healing, and that invitation to help support the vision and then saying, you know, I'm going to reward you with a credit in a book and you'll be part of this forever. And so it's like that legacy of I'm supporting this and your project. Um, and you don't have to know you in order to do it. You just have to be someone who's interested in the topic. And so you say that you have some other bonuses. So you actually, when you pre-order the book, you actually get the book once it's available shipped to you and it, you'll yeah. get a paperback physical book. But, and then you're also going to get all of these extra bonuses and get into like a VIP area just because you invested in the book. And I'm going to just tell everybody right now, uh, if you go look at uh, the website, I'm, I've am i got to read it here. Oops. Yeah, I can say it. It's just if they go to victoriavides.com, and okay. that is victoriavides.com, then from there they can link to everything I do, which is okay. a lot of different things, but the first one is the book. 
And, that, and you know what? Um, so in November, on November 30th, is going to be when I actually finish all the writing. So maybe one more week I can, I can do to add uh, any thank you to each of you. But after that, the book is done. So just make sure to hurry up. <laughs> okay, well, that's really important. And I just wanted to read this, this or ask everyone to think about this question. And it's from your book page. And it's, it says, have you ever in your life looked in the mirror and thought to yourself, I know I am meant for something greater and you just didn't know how to make it happen. Mm. And that's from your book. And you're asking that of people like me and all the listeners and viewers. And I think that that happens to so many of us often, you know, it's like, Hey, I know I'm meant for something greater, but I don't know how. So tell me, Victoria, how do you help people figure this out? And of course, it goes beyond the book. The book could be a great starting point, but you actually work with people um, personally to, to figure out all this stuff. So how does that work? Well, I offer several mentorships. So I work with people both one-on-one -on -one or in groups. I help people finding what they really want to do in life. So this would be one of my programs that is Path to Success. But then also I have the Energy Healing Program in which I help people to not only heal themselves, but also to learn how to heal others. So they become some of the top healers, meaning that they learn all the different techniques. They are completely purified in their energetic system so that they are able to truly help others. And then I have the shamanic healer mentorship as well. So that helps more about healing the soul. So yeah, I have different ways in which I am uh, helping others. And actually I have something special that I never announced before. Okay. <laughs> that is, I, so I never announced it before because it starts uh, I'm going to start talking about it this weekend, uh, and this is to work with me in a very special way to learn some of the most amazing ways in, in which one can build their uh, business, their passion, their vision, so that it can be sustainable. Because sometimes we have all these amazing ideas, and then we are not able to bring them to practice or to make a living. So then we have to have a, the nine-to-five job, and then on the other side, do the vision and that's not a way of living i want to see everybody being able to combine those so that they can make a living while they share their passion because we need you we need your gift you need we need your vision to become real in this world so that's why i i love to empower people for that so how do people if they want to talk to you more about working with you in that more close way because you know they can start with the book i mean that would be um you know easy because i think the book is like yeah. less than thirty dollars 29.97 and shipping's included so that's a one way that you could like get to know you victoria but if they want to actually you know they go wow i i really they're feeling you like your energy comes across very well i feel your energy uh, so, so if they really want to work with you, what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Yes. Yeah, so sometimes I actually offer some discovery calls. It's just 15 minutes, but at least I give you an opportunity to uh, be supported so that you can achieve what you want. So um, you can just email me, you know, and, and I, I do my best to answer every single email even though it's really busy, my inbox is really busy in my schedule too, but I feel that we have the obligation almost, you know, when when we want to help others, we have the obligation to in some way create that space for them. So um, you can email me. My email is vbb <laughs> at victoriavives.com. So that is all this, vbb at victoria. And then Vives is v i b e s dot com. So email me. Just say that you uh, saw me here or heard me uh, here with Tamara Patzer, 
and I will be so happy to to have a conversation with you. We are all families. The uh, humankind is a family, and we just need to stay connected, support each other, and move forward. We need to raise what being human means, right? Like happiness, joy, fulfillment. All of that is so essential, and sometimes we forget about it. Wow, that that is really super. I highly recommend that you do reach out because to spend 15 minutes with you, Victoria, that would really, really be a gift. And again, go check out the book in a matter of seconds, a story to empower yourself into love, success, and manifestation. Uh, and again, your energy just transcends in across time. And it's interesting because Um, video is typically a very uh, flat or low energy medium and I can actually feel yours you know coming through and we're 3,000 miles apart in a conversation so I'm in Florida you're in California so and, and I'm sure that the audience on Facebook and um, on YouTube and that they can feel this so um it's really, um, you know, I can really notice that. And it's really um, a great opportunity to get that 15-minute um, phone call so that you can get some clarity into what you're doing. And again, support this book because it's, like I said, it's a lot more than just a little book. Um, she's giving you, of course, the book, the shipping's included. You get the bonuses. And go check out her website. And um, again, if you are supporting the book in a matter of seconds, you're actually at this point in time going to be mentioned in the book. And just think what a great legacy that is from an energetic perspective that you're supporting something as part of the universe and something greater and bigger than you and you're helping Victoria all at the same time. It's just fabulous. So <laughs> thank that's you. Great. <laughs> so before I let you go, Victoria, um, do you want to just add anything before we leave? Well, just think about it. We have a limited time on earth, right? We come for this lifetime as who we are. And we want to just make it count, have a lot of fun for sure, but also how can we contribute to others? How can we, even if it is our families or a global (laughs) way, you know, some people really um, impact tons of people. So any level is, is meaningful. So we want to just think about it. And at the same time, always think about yourself too, keeping yourself nurtured. If we are empty, we cannot give anything. So always think about those two aspects, how you can nurture yourself, how you can offer to others. Wow, that's really great advice uh, to to make sure that you take care of yourself first. And then, of course, you can give. So be sure to receive as well as to give. So with that thought, thank you so much, Victoria. I I just really loved our conversation today. And Mm -hmm. again, everyone. Go get the book in a matter of seconds. And thank you. Tammy Patzer, go make it a beautiful day. You've been on the air. On the air. Listening to Author Interview Radio. To get instant access to all the private author conversations, go to authorinterviewradio.com. Subscribe now. <laughs>